Hi guys, it's Eleanor and today we're going to make this pretty and simple health UI and at the end we're going to add extra polish to indicate that the player has died like you can see in Spelunky and many other games and the same effect can be used for poison effect or anything else really. And before we start, thank you for watching and come join the Discord server, the link is going to be in the description. So let's get started. I made this sprite sheet over the weekend and it has a bunch of flowers in different variations. They're just for decoration, you don't really need them. Um, the main thing you need is a base and a fill, which are just two rectangles of any color. I've made some leaves to add a little bit more detail and this heart icon and a base for it to sit on top of. I've gone ahead and imported those in Unity and now we need to make sure the image type is sprite, then change the sprite mode to multiple and go to the sprite editor and then click on slice and use the automatic option because it's the easiest and just make sure the image has been sliced okay before hitting apply now i'm going to create a new ui image for each one of these elements and i'm just going to arrange them within a parent object just play around with it until we get a satisfying result so i'm just going to add the base which is the gray rectangle and then a pink rectangle on top of it. Make sure they fit okay. The gray rectangle needs to be bigger than the pink one. Then I'm gonna add the icon to the side to indicate to the player that this is the help bar. And I'm just gonna start adding decoration, just some leaves and some flowers, just to make the whole thing feel a bit more polished. Now that we're done with this we just need to go to the pink rectangle which is the fill go to the image script and change the image type from simple to filled and then the fill method to vertical and now we have this slider which is controlling what percentage of the image we have displayed on the screen and later on we're just going to link that directly to the player's health I went ahead and imported this little guy to keep us company and to be basically a player dummy. So we're just gonna add a player script to it and now we can start with the scripting part of the tutorial. So for the player script, we just need two variables, health and max health. And we're just gonna initialize max health to a reasonable number in the start function. And I'm using 250. And now if we go back and add a new script to the parent UI object that's holding our health bar, and I'm just naming this meter script. So we need to add using unity engine.ui at the top so we can work with the UI elements. And for variables, we need image fill and a player script player. And we're gonna initialize that in the start function. We can use player equals game object dot find with tag player because our player is tagged player. And then dot get component player script to get the actual script. And in our update function, we just want to set fill.fill amount equals player.help divided by player.maxhealth. Now we need to drag the pink rectangle object to the fill variable to link them together. And if we click play, we can see this in action. Changing the player health updates the bar on the screen. So now let's go ahead and add some extras to show to the player that their character has died. I quickly drew this X icon, which is just a gray X. I'm going to create a new UI image and position it at the same position as the heart icon, but I'm going to disable this and the inspector just by unchecking the checkbox in front of the name. Let's go back to the meter script and add two more variables, one for the heart icon and one for the dead icon. In the update function, we want to wrap what we have so far in an if statement. Just checking if the health is more than zero. And if it's not more than zero, we want to disable the heart icon by using dot set active false and enable the dead icon by using dot set active true. So now if we head back to the inspector, we can set the variables by just dragging them in. And if we click play, we can see this in action. If we reach zero, the heart disappears and the X appears. 
Swapping images around like this can be used for other effects to say if your player is poisoned, you probably want to change the color of your bar to green or something among those lines. Thank you for watching and if you liked it, consider subscribing and I will see you next Wednesday. Thank you, bye!